Hi guys, um, I just thought I'd overclock or unlock my GTX 660 and um, I thought some of you might want to know how to do it. I'll put some links down below for the tools you need. But um, this is how you do it, starting at the very beginning here guys. You go into your computer or download GPU-Z. You've got your GPU-Z, shows you all your specs of your card, shows you your sensors, and you can see there my max um, voltage. What I'm going to do here, this is a stress test, just to show you the specs of my card. So you can hit this stress test and it'll speed, you know, put your card into the uh, high power mode. You've got sensors. All right, so here's my clock, 980, but I've got a boost of 1030 here. I've actually boosted up further than that. I've boosted up to 1070 on the core. You can see my max voltage here, 1.17. Now the way these cards work is, they will boost up like a lot. If they, the more voltage they've got, the more they'll boost up. So what we're going to do, we're going to unlock this card to boost up its. We're going to unlock this card to more voltage. Unlock the voltage give it more voltage and then this core clock should go up from 1070 and also you can manually overclock it then as well um, if your card can't handle it then you just turn the um, you just flash your uh, stock BIOS back so first thing very important guys just get rid of this I want you to come over here to this button save BIOS and I want you to save your BIOS somewhere please guys so um, I've hit that and I do all my BIOS stuff over here so I'm gonna put it in here right there it is that's my actually that's the BIOS anyway but I'll save it over that GTX 660 and the reason it says fan is I've already modded the fan speed Right, so I've saved my BIOS. Now guys, we're not going to unlock the card. We're going to unlock the actual BIOS file. And then flash that to the card. So to do this, guys, you need a tool call, called Kepler Golden BIOS. Right? Now like here, it says, you type in KGB, your BIOS name, and unlock. And that does the job. And that will unlock it to, they say, 150% power voltage is the max now i've already worked my my um, figures out in the fan range so i've actually tweaked them up um to this my card was lowest fan 20 highest fan 100 my power target is not 150 percent it's 170 the max for my card is 1.215 so I've set that here. So it's all set, my KGB. And the way you can do that is mod KGB config. Anyway, guys, we're going to go flash this BIOS now, if you're following me. Hopefully you are. So come out of the folder. Shift and right click. Open command window. That should have gone. Uh, open command window here. There. There you go. Now whatever, you're going to have to have your BIOS and the KGB files in one folder. So I have, if you look here, I've got KGB and my BIOS. So here we go, it's KGB.exe and then your BIOS name, GTX660 fan dot rom and then you just hit unlock guys just hit unlock there enter and that's just flashed up so let's see if that worked Kepler BIOS tool use at your own risk BIOS start BIOS end check some good found power offsets found fan offsets found fan speed 20 100 found See there, max power target 170%. So that's done. So basically, that's done, guys. We've unlocked the BIOS. Now, unlocking the BIOS, guys, 
you're just unlocking a BIOS file. You've got to now flash that to your card. So to do that, you need nvflash in the same directory, and the command is going to be nvflash456, and then your BIOS name. I think it was. I think it was that. And this will flash your card with the BIOS that you have just unlocked. So let's try it, guys. I'll have a quick test in a minute on GPU Z, but I'll probably have to reboot. But do you remember, guys? Right, it says update successful, so it's flashed and we've unlocked it. But do you remember, guys, that um, I got a core, was it 1070? So let's have a look. I don't know if it'll have worked yet. We may have to reboot. Yeah, we're still on 1070 on the core and 1.17. This should go up to 1.21, this voltage, which should allow the core to boost right up. So shall I tell you what I'll do guys, I will stop here, reboot, and I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. Hi guys, back from a quick reboot, um, haven't even tested this yet, just loaded up, started filming, let's do this, GPU-Z. If you guys remember, it was 980, <clears throat> now I want you to come across here, look at my boost, 1030, but do you remember it went to 1070? Also guys... I want you to remember that my um, my current voltage was that 1.07. Now we've asked for it to go to 1.21, and if that happens, if I've unlocked it and flashed it correctly, guys, instead of I got a 1070 core, it should go well above that. Let's give it a test, guys. Here we go. Can't see any different there, can you? No difference whatsoever. But let's see the figures. Wow, there we go, guys. There we go. The core has gone up from 1070 to 1200. So that's a boost of 130 there. And guys, that's just the start, okay? Check the voltage 1.21. Now, because your voltage is on 1.21, I'm not going to go into it in this video. But basically, that's an overclock there, guys. And the best thing about this is you keep your, um, you know, your your uh, power saving. When you when you when you're on quiet, the power still goes back down on your card. So um, that's a good thing with this unlock. You can also now, you've got more headroom for an overclock. I'm not going to do it in this video, guys. But download MSI Afterburner, and you can clock your core right up. I've got to 1350 on the core. And also your memory. I don't get very far on my memory. I can get to 1530 on the memory. That's stable. Um, anyway, guys, this is just how to unlock your BIOS. And it will self-overclock if you do this. So I hope that helps some of you out there. And if it did, please give a like and a thumbs up. And subscribe, you know, for more videos like this. Any questions, just let me know. Catch you later, guys.